More than 150 members of the Sydney travel industry attended the first ever Travel Daily Mini Conference at Luna Park this week, sponsored by the Singapore Tourism Board. Presenting on the topic of the future of the travel agent in Australia, attendees heard from Singapore Airlines Passenger Marketing Manager Dale Woodhouse and Australian Federation of Travel Agents Managing Director Jason Westbury, who both overwhelmingly assured the future was bright for those in the travel profession. The capacity of the retail footprint in Australia can't disappear overnight. It's just too big. It has too big an impact. Australians still like to go out shopping on a weekend. People still like to go roaming. Shopping centres, the general shops are still a place people like to go. It's an entertainment for them. And so therefore I do believe there will be travel agents in those formats. There might be less and they might look different but they'll certainly be there and I certainly think that we've got a good decade of that ahead of us. Singapore Airlines Manager for Passenger Marketing Dale Woodhouse said travel agents were responsible for the overwhelming majority of tickets sold on services between Australia, Singapore and beyond to its network of 97 destinations. People are with their own ambitions to, uh, to plan complex itineraries and with you know, accommodation and visas and, and everything else they need to do. Um, there's some who can do it, but normally they can't do it. Um, most people can't do it, they, and they, they do prefer uh, to use the, uh, the services of a, of, a, of a professional travel agent uh, to, do these, um, to do that task. So, so obviously that's the logical kind of reason why uh, travel agents in Australia do have a future. And I guess the, uh, the comfort that comes from using a travel agent and someone who's experienced and knowledgeable uh, it gives you a peace of mind uh, as, as a consumer when you know that the person you're talking to actually knows what they're talking about and they can do the, the legwork for you to actually fulfil your, uh, your travel needs. The, the traditional office environment or certainly retail environment is going to ultimately see a big change over the next five to ten years and in fact it might even be faster than that. The audience was wowed by amazing statistics about social media and global connectivity surrounding the world of today and tomorrow by Click Communications founder Kim McKay, who said the world of as little as five years ago was vastly different to the world we live in today. The average traveller visits 22 travel websites in about 9.2 sessions before they book a trip. And let's face it, these travellers, their amplification can do more PR and get more bang for our buck than any marketing budget we could probably ever have. So we really need to help them and harness their messaging. Detailing the development of IATA's new distribution capability model, Jason Westbury said the experience of professional agents will always weigh heavily in the mind of travellers. The presumption that a new piece of technology is going to take that consumer's decision making process away from them such that they're all going to walk away from travel agents overnight because some new magical piece of technology arrives is a farce. Along with a selection of drinks, food and a ferris wheel in operation exclusively for attendees, a shiny new Lamborghini was on show for guests to be photographed with. Along with an entertaining Scalectrics model racing car set to showcase Singapore's annual Formula One Grand Prix. Courtesy of the Singapore Tourism Board, Yvette Myhill from Showbiz took home two return tickets to Singapore with accommodation courtesy of the Pan Pacific Group. With emphatic agreement as to the future of agents in the Australian travel industry, the crowd walked away happy and eager for the next Travel Daily Conference. Matt Lennon reporting for Travel Daily TV.